Hey guys, welcome back to my Wolfed Out Skyrim series. I am Roran. Now in this particular adventure, we are set on a task to find out if there is a spy seeking revenge onto the counselor here in Ravenrock of House Redrin. And we end up discovering something... Uh, Apparently, the plot to reanimate the general in the last adventure has taken a turn for a grand old scheme. Now, after it is said and done, we are given a very, very interesting gift. But, join me on this adventure and enjoy. mug around here somewhere you've brought raven rock back from the brink traveler i don't know how to thank you oh and i happen to find your missing book you have you have no idea what this means to me to my family reclamations bless you well you've certainly proven your worth around here to me please Accept this gift as a token of my appreciation. Good journey, traveler. All right, let's find the second counselor. I believe I saw him walking over here. Ah, there he is. Thank you for coming. After everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more, but I can't risk Councillor Morvain being killed. So, he is in danger of being killed. How so? The Ulan family of House Lalu, a rival great house, has placed a death mark on the Councillor's head. Really? Why would the Ulins want him dead? It's a private matter. Let's just say they seek revenge for the execution of one of their own, ordered by Councillor Morvane himself. The problem is I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. Hmm. I believe something is afoot as well. Your concern seems to be justified. It may be justified, but it certainly isn't appreciated. Councillor Morvane simply feels that I'm being paranoid. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. And I don't want it to come to that. So you feel an attack on the Councillor is imminent? I do. I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. So why haven't you acted on the information yet? Ravenrock is a small settlement, so it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. Hmm. So... How can I help you with this, then? I had a feeling you'd be willing to listen to me. And where do I begin? I need you to start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Raven Rock and see if you can root out these traitors. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri, over at the Retching Netch Corner Club. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention can't afford to make any mistakes. Okay. What can you tell me about House Lalu? Is that how you pronounce that? Traitors. The lot of them. Their collaboration with the Empire may have given them unrivaled political and economic strength, but their hearts weren't with the Dunma people. Hmm. So that was presumed to be their downfall. Right? Lalu deserved every bit of hatred they received once the Empire released its grasp on Morrowind. 
having passed ties to the Empire, immediately turned them into the scapegoat for the dumb people's suffering. What happened as a result of this? They had welcomed the Empire with open arms and benefited from it. When everything was said and done, they were no longer recognized as a great house and were dismissed from the Council. Hmm. Alright then. You mentioned your sources. I maintain a few contacts in other Dunma settlements across Tamriel. Most hail from House Redoran, but there are a few from other houses. Well, uh, why didn't you ask them to investigate? Most of my contacts live leagues away from Solstein. Sending the occasional message back and forth is all we can manage, and sometimes takes months or more to arrive. Mm. However, any information we can glean in times like this, I consider vital to House Redoran's survival. Okay. Do the Dunmore people hate the Empire? During the Oblivion Crisis, gates to the Plain of Oblivion opened all over Morrowind. The Empire pulled most of its forces out of Morrowind to deal with the gates in their own homeland, leaving us virtually defenseless. Hmm. We had no standing army at the time, just uncoordinated pockets of resistance. Hmm. So how did you survive this at all? House Redoran took charge and was slowly able to build an army. It took years, but it became a force to be reckoned with. When the Argonians invaded years later, House Redoran's army was able to prevent them from sweeping across all of Morrowind. It would be fair to say that House Redoran literally saved the Dunma people from destruction. Ah. I didn't know that part. My ancestor had a play in the Oblivion Crisis back in Cyrodiil. I'm originally from there, in Burma. But I will take you up on this offer and see if, if I can find anything out. Don't worry. You can trust Geldis. He's been with us for a long time. You need to talk some sense into your husband. You can't get blood from a stone, Mogul. As it is, we can barely make ends meet. That isn't my problem. I was... Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Yeah, since I did a couple favors for him, he might be able to help me out. Let me, let me come back here. Welcome to the Wretching Netch Corner Club, home of a finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Andrew said that you might be able to help me out with something that he asked me to do for him. Well, well. Adriel's got himself a spy, does he? Azura well, knows he needs all the help he can get. He's been chasing the Ulins for years now. Mm, you think he might be mistaken? No. I just think he's going about this the wrong way. Hmm. So you have a better idea, then? Actually, I do. If you want to catch those slippery slaughterfish, you need to let them come to you. And how do I get them to do that? There's an Ulan ancestral tomb near the temple. Someone's been leaving ash yam offerings on the altar inside. If you were to wait inside for whomever that is, I'm betting they'll have some of the answers you're looking for. Ah. Why haven't you told Adriel about this then? What makes you think I have it? Any time Adril and the Redoran Guard made a move, the Ulans must have been one step ahead and didn't show up. Ah. So, they have a tipster in the Guard. Thanks for the tip. You can thank me if it works. Until then, I'd head to the tomb and wait until your visitor shows up. That should be no problem. Why did Councillor Morvane es execute an Ulin then? Back in 95, Vila Ulin came to Ravenrock with a plan to take over our town. 
But Fetcher thought he could stir up the locals and use them against the Redder and Guard, and then murder Councilman Morvane when we weren't looking. Ah. Did he do this alone? He arrived alone, but spread enough coin around to start changing people's minds. Half a bloody town joined his side. Can you believe that? Well... How did he get caught then? He underestimated the Redder and Gar. They were organized and brought a swift end to the coup. Vila tried to run, but he was caught by Captain Veleth himself. Vila Ulan was executed a short time later, and his remains placed in the Ulan ancestral tomb. Hmm. All right then. Uh, since I'm here, have you heard anything new? Nothing specific. But I'm hearing rumblings of assassins living amongst us. I think they intend to target Councillor Morvane, but I can't be certain. Yeah, that's why I'm doing this. Come back if you're feeling thirsty. I'll set you up right. Okay, you gotta stay out here. Let's get going. You need to talk some sense into your husband. Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. Can't get blood from a stone, Mogul. As it is, we can barely make ends meet. That is my problem. Hmm. It's probably this one then. Yeah. Alright then. We're gonna do this. Stealthily. Let's see, do I... Where is... There we go. Dongard sword emitting that weird light. Okay. <laughs> uh, my Dawnbreaker. I don't see anybody in here. I wonder how long do I have to wait? seen her before.
Okay. Can I help you? I hope Geld has proved useful. Have you made any progress? Yes, I suspect Tilly Sue is the corporate. I saw her walk into the Ulin. Well, Monist. What is it? Burial tomb. Y you know what I'm talking about. Tilly Sue. Are you sure? Yeah, I saw her in there. So Geldus's plan worked, eh? Every time we tried it, no one would ever show up. If Telesu's involved in any sort of plot to harm Councillor Morvain, I'm going to need hard evidence to prove it. May I have a word with I can you go know? search for their house. I'm of not course, kicking down sir. anyone's door until I have solid evidence in hand. About our food if you're wrong Jaren, about Telesu, so things would quickly go downhill and around here, out. and the real culprits I'll might slip away. And see if we can't I can't afford for that to happen. This season. What if Sorry, they try Henry. to stop me? I fear we'll be if you have evidence a bit more often, that it places your life in peril, I would expect you to do whatever you must to keep yourself alive. Here, this key should open the front door of the manor in case they've locked it. Good luck. Right, can you tell me more about the Severan family? Tell us who is wife to the family patriarch, Vendor. They have a single child, a daughter named Miri. They arrived here ten years ago and have been nothing but a benefit to Raven Rock ever since. Huh. A benefit how so? They're quite wealthy and they've been quite generous by sharing their fortune with the community. They've contributed coin, food, supplies, even helped repair a few of the buildings in town with their own hands. So, nothing unusual about them. People have mentioned it's a bit odd about how close in age Mary appears to be to her father, but that's hardly a cause for alarm. Just make sure you find solid evidence. If I accuse them without it, I'll be the laughing stock of the colony. Okay. Be careful. If the Severans have betrayed us, then they'll be well armed. Did you find any evidence at Severan Manor yet? How much longer do you intend I have yet to go, but why do the Ulans have a tomb in Ravenrock? Villa Ulan wasn't the first Ulan to live in Ravenrock. His father, Valen Ulan, was one of the first Dunmer to settle here. Unlike his son, Villa, Valen was a good man. He contributed to the community and was quite respected. When Valen died, his family provided the funds to construct the tomb. But you told me House Ulu was disliked. The Ulin family being a part of House Lalu didn't matter. It's Dunmer's tradition the for the ashes of the deceased of course, to be placed yeah. in an ancestral what tomb. Troubles you? Valen Ulin and his son's stores. remains were Jowl both really laid to rest so there to because journey. that's what he'd requested. I'll hmm. speak with Gary right, and then. see if we can't increase be the careful. production this season. If the Severans have betrayed us, <sighs> Sir, then they'll be Sir well Mary. armed. I fear we'll be feasting on Ashian. Alright, I'm gonna do this alone. I need to be quick about it. didn't notice me. Okay, there might be something in the house that I can use.
You're safe. Hmm. Come on. That's... Okay, what do you got in here? A letter. Dear Counselor Sladden, in, the ma in, ma in a matter of days, I believe we'll be ready. Our forces hidden within Ashfallow Citadel have been training night and day, ready to strike when we give the signal. With Captain Velik distracted by the Ashbond attacks, the timing seems perfect. I've waited nearly a decade to exact my revenge upon Morvalin for the death of my ancestry and long for the moment my blade will draw across his throat. The next letter you receive from me will be included his head in a sack. Display it proudly in the halls of House Lalu, brother. Well... There it is. Let's get out of here. Let's hurry up. I'll help you. Did you find any evidence at Severin Manor yet? Yep. Yes, I did. Then we finally have them. All that remains now is they chasing them down and concept. bringing them to justice. Of course, Cindy. I don't think they what will be you? willing to give up that easily. Good. I'm going so to send two of the journey. best Rerun Guard we life. have. To take them down. I'll speak with Garen. I want you to assist them any way you can. I'll head there immediately. Sorry, See that you do. We I can't afford to let these Ashley traitors slip away. This year. Ashfallow Citadel's abandoned for a long time. Be ready for anything. All right, we're going. We going? Yep. Lead the way. Over here. Interesting wow. armor. <laughs> really think that you can out arch me. Oh. Oh, it seems to be another one of those shrines over there. up into here this little tiny place must be deeper must be more underground all right then we got this
there. Doesn't seem like they are. <laughs> okay. Now, where's the switch? I know I heard something. Yeah! For House Halalu. For Villa Ulin. Yeah! Oh, right through the And you thought I was just a pretty face. Yeah. No. It's not my time. To the north. Oh, where did she go? I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Well, what happened? Were you able to track down Vendel? Out with it! Yep, he is no longer a threat. Then, it's finally over. What of the Redoran Guard I sent to assist you? I believe that they were slain by assassins. They called themselves the Marong Tong. Damn it. I, have a word with you, I was Kansas. hoping to protect our people by sending course, them, not yeah. end up with casualties. What troubles you? To I think that Vendel would stoop so, so low as to hire those fetchers. So I'm glad I'm you killed him. Out. I'll speak with Garen and see well, if we can't increase the crop production. I did what had to be done. <sighs> wonderful. Simply so, wonderful. Cinderella. Counselor Morvane will be quite pleased we'll be when he hears about this. A bit more often this year. Follow me, and I'll take you to the Counselor so you can speak to him yourself. Excuse me, Counselor Morvane. I have some wonderful news. Adriel, I haven't seen a smile on your face like that in a long time. 
This visitor has single-handedly dealt with a threat that could have ended your life. Vendel, Telesu, and Mary Severin weren't who they appeared to be. I'm afraid they were here to avenge Villa Ulan's death. Vendel? But he's done so much for Raven Rock. How could this be possible? They did it to gain our confidence, Counselor. They had us all fooled. I should have been more vigilant. I'm sorry. Don't say that. It's not your fault, old friend. And you... Step forward. What you've done for me, for all of Raven Rock, goes far beyond what I would have expected from a traveler to our town. For this, you have my deepest gratitude. He's the closest thing I've Thank had you. to my brother. Now, I'm certain Adril was prepared to reward you appropriately like for everything you've done. I'm sorry, However, my love. It's Since a bit of coin hardly seems like enough, I've decided to provide something of me is more missing. substantial. Every Dunmer left a piece of themselves really? behind when they departed. What home. may that be? All we can Since do the Severin family, the most of or whoever we they were, turned out to be criminals, their property is now forfeit. As counselor, I hereby award you Severin Manor and everything contained within. You've earned your citizenship here, and I hope you'll consider staying with us as a member of our community. Nice. The mines are open and the ebony has begun to flow because of your discovery. My eternal gratitude and blessings go with you, friend. My doors are open if you wish to discuss matters involving Raven Rock. I can't thank you enough for reopening the ebony mines. You've brought light to the darkness, my friend. I'm pleased I was mistaken about you, Saryo. Any news from Vardenfell, Counselor? I'm hearing that the Council will be staying in Blacklight. Well, it appears that we don't all have to stay in the airship anymore. We have our own place here. And from what I can see, it was quite lovely when I was in there. Okay, let's relax in our new home. Have a drink. Oh. Moku, care for anything from my stand today? Ah, shams. Disgusting. I'd rather eat cheese than sun. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this Wolf Doubt Skyrim video. Now remember to comment and subscribe if you so feel like it. Be sure to check out my other LP series. Now if you want to know the mods I use, check the description below. You guys stay furry, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!